ladies and gentlemen, I'm sorry, but um, you're going to have to, you know, listen to my voice once more today. But I got something I forgot. Um, in about half an hour, we have um, All Out, the All Elite Wrestling pay-per-view. So I thought, why not do a my first proper wrestling pay-per-view predictions video for it. I know a lot of YouTubers have done it already, but I just wanted to do it anyway because, um, yeah, it's one of the biggest pay-per-views of the, you know, of the thing. So I was like, yeah, I'll just do it now. And the problem is that I'm just watching the live stream like now on here I'm not actually watching the show I should wait does, has it started yet I don't know I don't know I'll have a look now but when it does start I'll um start watching it I'm not sure what time it starts I think it starts at like half past so yeah but anyway hopefully oh we no so anyway, hopefully it should be good, especially with the Ross, especially with the card that is on now, should be good. So yeah, I'm mean, actually what's the entire show of all in or double or nothing yet. So I'll have to watch that tomorrow. So yeah, I'm just watching the all out live reactions at what culture at the moment because well the show hasn't actually started yet, but I thought I might as well. But anyway, um, yeah. So I'm just gonna say some of the matches that are on the card. So we have. Um, all right, I'm just gonna start off with the biggest match but I'm gonna go through the match cards and everything I'm just gonna say who I reckon is gonna win and not necessarily why but just who I reckon is gonna win seeing as how I've not watched Double or Nothing yet so yeah but anyway we have the um we have the private party versus and Helico and Jack Evans. Now, I, from what I've seen, I've been really, um, really excited for, well, not really excited, but really intrigued by especially some of both teams' matches that have been on the AEW cards. So I don't know who's going to win here. I, so yeah, this one's really a, close call but I'm gonna give it to Angelico and um, Jack Evans just because they're the bigger names in the tag team because I hadn't really heard of either of them when they started but from but everybody seemed to be talking more about Angelico and Jack Evans than Private Party so I reckon they're gonna win just because they're the bigger names. But I don't know, they could be they could use Angelico and Jack Evans to build the private party. I don't know, so I'm gonna say that's a very close call. But here we have a match that I reckon's gonna start the show for a big crowd popping moment. I'm gonna go because it's Luchasaur Luchasaurus, Jungle Boy and Marco Stunt. Versus SEU, so Callan censored. Now, SEU are definitely the bigger names, you know, Scorpio Sky, Frankie Kazarian, and Christopher Daniels. But Luchasaurus, Jungle Boy, and Marco Stunt are really the people who need this match, because SEU don't need to win here. But I reckon. Luke, I reckon Luchasaurus, Jungle Boy and Marco Stunt will get the victory here tonight just because they need it more 
because they're not they're not that big a name yet. But I reckon a win here could, you know, give them good grounds for the tag team tournament if they decide to go after the tag team championships in that tournament and they decide to enter, then I reckon a win here could really solidify their position as one of the top finishers in that tournament. So yeah, going forward, I reckon these, especially Luchasaurus and Jungle Boy as a tag team could really be, um, you know, built up quite a lot. So I reckon that's what they're going to do. I reckon Luchasaurus, Jungle Boy and Marco Stunt are going to get the victory here. Now, Riho and Hikaru Shida, I haven't really, because I haven't watched that six-woman tag team match yet, so I'm not really sure, I haven't seen that match, so I haven't seen any of their matches, so I don't know, personally, this will be a new experience for me, so I can't really say who I reckon is going to win here, just because... I don't have any experience with these two performers as of yet. Um, hopefully tomorrow it'll be a totally different story because I'll have watched both Double or Nothing and All Out that day tomorrow. So that'll be good. So yeah, I'm just going to say um, no comment because I can't really make a comment on two people that I haven't seen wrestle yet. So yeah, I don't know. We'll see. Should be a good match from what we heard of the six women tag team match. And now, I reckon there's going to be a... I don't want to say clear winner, but I reckon there's going to be a definite winner here. But and it's Joey Janela versus Jimmy Havoc versus Darby Allin. Now, I definitely want Jimmy Havoc to win as... A, fellow um, person from Britain, but I don't know, he probably will, because he's Jimmy Havoc, and he's the much bigger name, and he's been, like, advertised more, so I reckon they're going to be pushing Jimmy Havoc a bit more than the other two, so I reckon a win here could really, you know, push him to be in one of AEW's more upper mid-card names. So, yeah, it'll definitely be a very exciting match. So, I'm looking forward to it. Hopefully, Jimmy Havoc gets the victory, but I'm not sure. We'll have to see what they do. But now going on to the match between Cody Rhodes and Sean Spears. N well, now. I don't know with this one. I I think that they're going to try and build um, Sean Spears up. Because I reckon if they do, then that would, that would probably pay off. Especially with the amount of experience he has. So, um... Yeah, I reckon Sean Spears is definitely is either gonna get the victory here tonight or this rivalry is gonna, you know, build on and he's gonna get a victory somewhere down the line against Cody if he doesn't get a victory here. So that's what I'm going with to sort of balance out the Luchasaurus Joey uh Luchasaurus Jungle Boy and Marco Stunt. Victory, I reckon they're going to have Sean Spears as the heel go over Cody and sort of have that f face win in the kickoff show and then the heel win here. Now that is a definite heel and a definite face chemistry in the match. So here we have the, um, the, the, mat the tag team match between the Dark Order and best friends. Now I'm not sure who's going to win here for, to get the first round by in the World Tag Team Championship tournament, 
but I reckon the Dark Order don't necessarily need it because I reckon they're gonna do well in the tournament anyway, even if they do get, even if they don't get that buy. So I reckon it would definitely be more beneficial for best friends to get it because they're just the smaller wrestlers and you know they do tend to do worse in tournaments especially for um like pro wrestling so i'm gonna say that the dark or the dark order won't win but the best friends will sorry that sentence really got away from me there but anyway we have the tag team match for the triple a tag team championships between the Young Bucks and Lucha Bros. Now, I'm not sure who's going to win here. Um, I reckon because the Young Bucks have so much invested in All Elite Wrestling and being part of the Elite, I don't think they're going to go off to AAA and be their tag team champions. So I reckon Lucha Brothers are going to retain, leaving them being able to, you know, go backwards and forwards between AAA and All Elite Wrestling because they're not really that, um, like, that really much part of the, like, producing of the the show. So that they're not really that much that part of the Elite. So uh, they don't have that much to do with the show. So I'm going to say the Lucha Bros are going to win and just keep the Young Bucks on the... All Elite roster. But anyway, we have a last minute match. Well, no, last minute replacement for a match. And if you haven't guessed by, by now, it is Pac versus Kenny Omega. Now, I reckon Kenny Omega. I reckon both of these superstars need the win, especially, um, I would say, Pac needs it more. Especially after the whole Neville treatment in WWE could still be weighing on him. Especially with the um, American audience that they're um, showing here. But especially with it being on the ITV as well. I reckon Pac could get the victory as, you know, the um, British victor. But... I reckon Kenny Omega is going to win just because, especially if Jimmy Havoc wins the triple threat match, Kenny Omega is probably going to win here. If he doesn't, then Pac might win here, but I don't see two um, British people going over in such big matches as they're in. So that's why I'm saying that I'm going to wait till the other res other results. But now we have the main event, which is going to be Hangman Page versus Chris Jericho for the championship. I don't know who's going to win. I don't see them giving Chris Jericho the title just because, especially the first ever champion, because I don't think that they want to have that um, weighing on their shoulders, especially as a former... WWE champion and WWE legend for so long now being their first ever world champion. So I reckon they're gonna give it to Hangman Page. Whether he has a long whether he has a long run with it, I don't know. But he's probably gonna be the first ever champion just to stop the WWE legend from being the first champion because I mean for the opposition, it would be the elitist of, um, you know, troll jobs to, you know, give Chris Jericho the championship. But I reckon they're not going to do that because they already did that at Double or Nothing with the whole Cody and the throne thing. So I reckon they're going to give their first ever championship to Hangman Page. But anyway, we'll find out soon. So, and with that, as I'm running out of time, I shall see you guys later and enjoy the All Elite Wrestling All Out. See you in the next video. Goodbye.